Good evening, people of YouTube. Once again, it is the Reverend. The theme here. And Grey Mouth One. The three middle aged dudes just bullshitting about nothing. We are back. And this is our second video of the night. We're going to continue on with the video game news, covering a few rumors. Actually, one rumor and a tidbit of news that, well, wasn't so happy. First rumor of the, of the night, actually, of the last week is the fact that it is rumored that Resident Evil 7 is going to be officially announced at E3 2016. It is like the, um, what is it, the 30th, no, 20th anniversary? 20th. 20th, 20th anniversary of, of, of the Resident Evil series. And you've heard us go on about it before. Uh, we were, we've speculated, Theme himself many times has speculated that instead of seeing a new remake or remaster or anything like that, he'd much rather see Resident Evil 7. Yes. It looks like, well, if the rumors are true, it looks like Con uh, I mean, no, Konami isn't going to give you shit. Fuck Konami, all right? Fuck. Capcom may actually go ahead and follow up and give you something that you want. Whether or not that's it ends up being that way is something else altogether. But gentlemen, thoughts? It it is a it is a rumor at this point. But if if this is true, then just make it correct. Go back to what made the original Resident Evil great. Without and the tank it, controls. <laughs> Without the tank it, controls. <laughs> go back, go pay homage to the Resident Evil fans of old. If this is going to be the 20th anniversary plus a sequel, then please make it just like those games. Resident Evil's 1, 2, 3, and Code Veronica. Go back to those. Go back to those. Go back to full third person. Go back. Don't do that over-the-shoulder shit. Don't make it a rail shooter. Don't, no, don't, don't tone down the violence. Have it a zombie fucking game. Yeah. Or diseased motherfuckers. Make it something like that and, and make it an outstanding story. Have two or three characters going around the city blasting fucking zombie. Please make it, I don't give a fuck about the main characters, race or gender, what you can have trans, I don't care. Just have it a great fucking game. I'll pull out my wallet. I'll pull out cards or money, and I'll buy that shit. Just do the right thing, Capcom, and satisfy your fans because we've been wanting this for a long fucking time. And if E3 is where you're gonna announce it, then bring it, show some footage, just just fucking do everything right. Um, with my thoughts, I echo pretty much what the theme is saying. Um, I want them to go back to what initially got Resident Evil, you know, from the get-go. It's a horror game. It's a survival horror game. Yeah. Whether or not it's a, um, whether or not it's a, uh, a uh, third person, first person shooter, whatever, but just bring back the horror, make it action adventure. We don't want, we want a survival horror type genre. And um, this is, uh, Capcom's opportunity to excel. Uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was 1996 was when Resident Evil first came out. You know, I mean, let's, let's continue the, um, you know, let's continue the story. Uh, and again, I don't care who the main protagonist is, male, female, whatever, I really don't. Just make, just make it the way it's supposed to be that, that the fans of the game, you know, and new fans can, can love it. Yeah. Um, and I just really think that, you know, it, the ball is in their court and it's up to them to, um, to do the game right this time. You know, listen, have, listen, to your feed, uh, listen to the feedback of the fans, you know, and just stay true to, to what made Resident Evil good, you know. Zombies don't have, survivor horror. Don't have don't DLC want. stages or DLC guns or DLC modes oh, or... And, and, don't, and, don't make us have to be online to play a one fucking player. And there's game. no and you don't need a fucking multiplayer for this game. We don't need a multiplayer. You okay, know. you know what? A multiplayer would be nice if it's done correctly. And what I mean by that is if you are separate parts of the city and you have to meet. Okay, fine. No, what they're gonna do no, because no. What I'm asking for too much. I mean, yeah, because Right now, you got Call of Duty who does zombies. No, 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 that's that's first person shit. No, but I'm just saying I, that's what I I don't want. That's what I'm just completely no. Don't worry. Okay, more options. More options. 
Have it an option. You can have so, it. No, no. Delete. Okay. okay. Control Alt Delete that. No. What about the Left for Dead shit? Yeah, that. That. Yeah. No, look, Left for Dead. I mean, you could put. Not, I would say. Okay. Let, let me re, let me redo this. Multiplayer where four people can play at the same time. Okay. But as a multiplayer where you go around and Call of Duty style bullshit, no, that is no, not. No, no. All I'm saying is at the same time, you both. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Killing, no, not opponents. I'm talking about you two playing. No, see, the same game. no, yeah, exactly. I don't want none of that. But you know what? I'm not talking about versus. Let's not, no, let's not make exactly. Let's not make a versus game. No, 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 no. I'm talking about one, two players. One, two, four players. One thing, too, about Resident Evil 7, this rumor, is that I don't want multiplayer to be the main focus and then let's do a campaign, tag a campaign on at the end of the game. Too many games nowadays are like that. You know, it's like, it's like the campaign was a, an afterthought. Like, oh, shit, we forgot to do a campaign. We get, let's hurry up and do it. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Well... Let's see here. The, as far as it being announced is a uh, is a rumor, but where it all started was that there's a Japanese analyst uh, named Sirkan Toto, who wrote on Twitter on let me see here the 17th, which is about a a little less than five days ago, um, that you know that Resident Evil is in development and that it will be shown at, at E3 and that they were returning back to their uh, horror roots and. Now, this is the one thing that he said that, is, that kind of makes me worry. Essentially, look, the entire game will go back to the RE's horror roots and essentially be a clean slate. If that means fucking reboot, fuck you, okay? That, that's all I'm going to say right now, all, all right? Because we've had enough of that bullshit. No, I'm not no. even going to go into details. No. But what <laughs> I would like to see is... A lot of the same lines is what the theme was saying is give me an A side, B side, like they did with the games in uh, A side, B side quests on uh, on Resident Evil 2, and that'd be great. You can handle multiplayer that way. Co op, where you have the different players doing different objectives in different parts, and then they, their, their, uh, their stages or their progress intersects on each other. That's what that'd I mean. Great. Don't That's what this Resident Evil Two Revelations episodic bullshit either. Okay, don't don't fucking do that. All right, Capcom. If you do that, I swear, I'm not gonna pick up your shit unless it goes on fucking Steam sale where it's only ninety percent off and shit, or if it's on fucking Humble Bundle. No, okay, I can go ahead and get a shitload of your games for like seven dollars. Okay. No. Leave out the arcade mode, man. Yeah, no, no, arcade, no, arcade mode is fine, but the, the I'm gonna leave it out. No, no, arcade <laughs> mode is fine, but the thing, the thing that I want is that if they're gonna actually go back to being a, a survival <laughs> horror, if they're going back to their horror roots, it, I, I understand that they can't go back to the the old tank controls and the jump scares and. Yeah, you know, a whole bunch of zombies trying to grab you through the fucking planks and that are covering oh, up the no. fucking window. That may not pass anymore, especially in a post fucking um let's see here, Walking Dead World and a Left for Dead World. I uh, just had- zombies have, have been all over the fucking place. No, VR. no, no, I see what you're doing. Fuck that shit too. <laughs> Fuck you know that. what? As soon as you started saying that. Reverend, that's all I can imagine them doing at this point. <laughs> no, no, no. Because that's where everything is jumping to. I can see that happening. As soon as you get through the explanation, that's why I was like, no, you went there. And that's what popped in my head. <sighs> yes. Because they want zombies coming at them. Look, having the option, like... Gray Mouse, I'm. I, I don't mind having the option, but don't make it hinge on that. Please don't fucking don't shoehorn your players and your fan base into that. For the love of God, don't do that. Okay. Well, you know, you brought up a good point too. Is that you know, there's enough lore for Resident Evil to continue. <laughs> 
versus going back and like doing a, you know, the, 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 the reboot, you know, I hate saying that word, but that would be really stupid. You're going to call your game Resident Evil 7, but you're going to reboot it. That don't make no damn sense. Yeah. It, in numerically or no, it just doesn't make any sense to do that. So I don't think they'll go that far. Um, but, uh, but I wouldn't put anything past them. I mean, for Christ's sake, they didn't put an arcade mode in Street Fighter V. You know, but um, with the with the uh, the jump scares and whatnot, um, I mean, I still think that jump scares can still work. But you know what? You know what? I think they should borrow from. I think they should borrow from um, Alien Isolation. Borrow that style of. I'm not saying stealth, but that style of gameplay to where it's where you have to. Um, where you have to be careful and be very, you know, precise in what you're doing. Well, they have certain Resident Evil games. They have certain Resident Evil games that if you're not careful against a certain enemy, something can happen to you. You just die immediately. You can get ate up or anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And no, what I, what with, I with, with Alien Isolation, I mean, if you step in the if you step in the wrong place or you make too much noise, you're done. I you think can't, I you think can't that's have a whole game like that though. You have to have certain parts. Yeah, I I think that's I think yeah. that's wrong wrong approach to go ahead and and, and take with a with survival uh, horror game because if you're sitting there, yeah, with survival horror you got to be careful. But if you're if you're sitting there trying to abide by hardcore stealth, that just no be- no, no 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 no. See, you misunderstand. That's what I'm saying. No no no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying turning. I'm not saying turning uh, uh, Resident Evil into a stealth game. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that that's that type of jump scare that they have in Alien Isolation. If you guys haven't played it yet, I mean, you die in fucked up ways that you don't even know that you fucked up until you're dead. No, I. Oh, you, here's what I'm saying. No, you, people try to play it as a normal first person shooter. That's why they die so fucking. Here, here's here's the thing about that. My my concern is not the jump scares. When I mentioned that, is that look, I I have a hard time picturing Resident Evil One playing out and being as accepted as it was back in 1996 in a post Walking Dead, in a post World War Z, in a post fucking uh, 28 I, days I, later. I, uh, so you're football. saying okay? So you're basically saying that we've become. Um, What's that word I'm looking for? We've been very desensitized to zombies. Desensitized with old. zombies. All right. You're right. And, yeah, and the thing is that when you sit there and you and you and you and you take into into account, okay, zombies are they're they're just as bad at at, at being overused and overpopulated a villain in games as. Aliens? No, no. As uh, no, even even worse, and even even more readily recognizable as redskins in fucking cowboy movies. Okay. <laughs> if you if you want to be completely honest, yeah, right? it's, a, it's a to be honest. I mean, it's a it's a beaten trope that's been in there for. I mean, we had zombie movies since the fifties or the forties. I mean, look, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it's it's not going to work, but the approach as far as to setting up the the player and handling characters within the game has got to be handled differently mm-hmm. you know and, and as long as they don't have the you know michael jackson's thriller playing when the zombies are coming then dude if they did that i would fucking buy that day one okay if they get <laughs> give me a, a thriller pre-order fucking bonus i would be all over that you know what you zombies doing this man? You, wait you yes. know what i i would too Yes. Honestly, I would mark out, and I would buy that. You know, just don't, just don't have the Michael Jackson glove edition. Oh, but if you have a thriller edition of that, Dude, yeah. If they if they had a glove, yeah, that, to set, uh, October thirty first. If they had a glove that was that was interactive for the fucking uh, PSVR fucking uh, <laughs> fucking connect, I might even shell out for that. <laughs> so, so you gonna be doing this? Did you be doing? <laughs> if they it, okay, Resident Evil Seven, make a zombie mode. Hey, it's it's that's one of the things that they actually um, 
I think they actually had available and also revelations and also in Raccoon City was that if you got eaten up and you got turned into a zombie, you could actually go after your 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 um your partners, which is cool. I'm not I'm not shitting on that. What I am what I am woefully worried about is that that whole being remade, all right, and not and losing its identity. If Resident Evil becomes becomes uh left for dead that's bad if resident evil becomes call of duty that's bad if resident evil becomes anything else other than fucking resident evil and look capcom i know you've expanded the lore big enough you don't it doesn't it doesn't necessarily need to be jill and and and, uh fucking um and uh what's his name god damn it uh the Ah, shit. You're not talking about Bobby, are you? No, no. Jill and fucking the, the, the other Chris. main dude. Yeah. Jill, Chris, Claire, Leon. It doesn't necessarily need to be those particular core characters. Um for some because, people it does. Yeah, I mean I mean, no, I, I I would I would have to sit there and say that yeah, they would probably have to show up sooner or later in the in the game. But it doesn't necessarily need to be them, but Fuck! Don't, please don't lose your soul over making a different Resident Evil. All right. Any other thoughts? No. <laughs> okay. Now moving on to a little bit more depressing news. Um, a game that we know will not come out in the future is the new Dis- uh, Disney Infinity game, uh, Disney Infinity 4.0, or the next Disney Infinity title was canceled by Disney games. They sat there and they went ahead. They saw the landscape and they pretty much said, thank you, but no, thank you. Um, basically, uh, on the 10th, they announced to the world saying that um, we are not going to continue on with the infinity series. There are still um, games that we have set for the Disney infinity 3.0 run of uh uh, figure expansions that we're going to um, we're going to uh, to take out. We're we're going to let that out, but canceling the the series has pretty much uh, left a big gaping hole. Uh, uh, just a few numbers out there. Let's see here. Uh, canceling the series, Disney is taking on a 147 million charge to axe the division. Uh, basically, the cut uh, uh, and. Um, and, and and everything else is going to lead to a lot of people losing jobs, uh, studios shutting down, and um, they're the only thing that really makes sense as far as their explanations as to why they're doing this is that um, they pretty much saw the their end of what they were projecting as far as the sales of the Disney Infinity figures and the games across all platforms kind of platform out, and they're like. Okay, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll we'll pull out now before we invest into putting together a new series. Um, thoughts on that, gentlemen? Well, they can make all that money back, and you know, so the only Infinity thing that they're gonna have is the Infinity Wars, pretty much <laughs> with the movies. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah. It's kind of sad when you see this um, things being canceled and things being shut down. But if it's within relative reason, and if it's you know. Okay, there are two. There are only two functions for a company. Only two, and one of them is the last resort. One is to make a profit. Two, the second, the last resort is to break even. If they didn't see either or going in or continuing, then there's no point to keep it going. So if they saw that they're just going to be losing or tanking or not making profit or whatever, it's good to get out now and try to beat a dead horse. It's kind of sad that, you know, canceling and, and not doing these projects anymore is going to lose money and lose jobs. But this is Disney. They're going to make that shit back. Yeah. Within yeah. no time. So with, with no that, sad. with that, uh, I'm going to disagree with you, theme. Um, Infinity has been extremely profitable for or I'm sorry, uh, Disney Infinity has been extremely profitable for Disney. Um, what I think their motivation for counseling 4.0 is simply that they looked at the landscape and they saw it being oversaturated, um, especially with Nintendo doing their Amiibos 
and then it's it's almost and then Skylanders, you know. And Warner and, Brothers is doing all the Lego Dimension stuff. Disney pretty much saw the writing on the wall, and it's no longer profitable. Um, and or I wouldn't say I don't know maybe they. But that's what I was saying. The, yeah. yeah, see, they're I, pretty I don't much know. getting out while they're ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, but I don't think it's to a point to where they'll it for it, even if they release the Infinity 4.0. But I think that but they, what other Disney characters can they dig into at this point? Well, I, I think I don't think it's the Disney characters as far as um, how many just, versions of Iron Man can you actually have? Well, <laughs> over fifty-seven if you count the the different markings of the suits from from all the all the movies. But the, the the thing with the thing with um. <laughs> is, and as far as the money and that they were spending on it, I don't think they were really worried about okay putting out new figures because the thing about the toys and everything they've already that's all part of their manufacturing line and all of that they've got that down to a science uh, along with all the other Disney figures that they put out the the where they probably got to is that they were saying okay look this is not meeting our expected forecast as far as this been a lot of that lately. Yeah, this particular game. Um, so they decided, okay, we can go ahead and we spend millions of dollars uh, creating the next actual actual game for all the platforms across the board, or we could just cut our losses now, put out the, the rest of the stuff that we already have planned and sit and call it a day. Which um Look, I, I hate to see any sort of title or any sort of de development studio disappear because of a uh, corporate decision. Um, but I can, I can uh, respect where they're, where they're at because they don't want to sit there and run, the, run the, the risk of oversaturating the market. I mean, you have, like, like uh, Grey Mouse was saying, you have um, Skyliners, you have the Amiibos, you have Lego Dimensions, which is run by Warner Brothers. Um, it, you don't want to sit there and create... The, this is the thing that I equate it to. You don't want to sit there and create a situation where you have a shitload of plastic fucking guitars out there, like they did with fucking Rock Band and Guitar, Guitar Hero. Hero, which for, the, for a good, I don't know, almost three to five years seemed fucking unstoppable until they literally flooded the fucking market from so many fucking publishers with so many different versions and different fucking peripherals where people were like, um, you know, just price of entry alone into the, into playing this fucking game is like 80 fucking dollars. And then you're, you're going to tell me that you've got like shitloads of fucking DLC out there that, that you're going to sit there and literally nickel and dime me to death with. Um, no, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, eventually just like all things go, it, it died out and people are left with a shitload of plastic guitars that they don't even fucking pick up or, or, or anything like that. I'm one of them. Shit. Uh, people will pick, people will pick up more for the NX. That depends. That depends. Okay. So, Guitar, you know, Guitar Hero VR, it's coming. Oh no, they tried to reboot that. They tried to bring that back, but that one kind of, that one, that one kind of got aborted before it even it even got too far. Yeah, and that was a really sad one because that was one of those retro birth abortions where they're like, oh, man, this, this, this isn't this isn't a year old yet. It's not human, so we can still kill it. And if you think I'm I'm kidding about that fucking, uh, I know you're not kidding. Matter. Yes, that's actually been bandied about. So. I, I know I know you're not kidding. That's what's so funny about it. Yeah, but you're gonna say, uh, Great Mouse. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I it's it's sad to see it's sad to see any sort of uh, game title get canceled or anything like that, especially when it comes uh, from a, from a standpoint that you know, and this is unabashed, not hidden at all. The only reason why they pulled the plug on it was because the bean counters in charge sat there and said, we're not going to make as much money as we thought we would on this. So let's go, just go ahead and pull the plug. 
I mean, you know, I don't see it as a as a uh, a downer, simply because you know, I mean, it ran its course. Three games is enough. It's just time to move on to something different. I don't even know if there was that many games actually fucking published for it. Mm-hmm. I, I know as far as the series of uh, the series of figures are on the third series, um, but I don't even think that many games were published. I think Disney 3.0 was, yeah, it's three games. Yeah, Disney Infinity, then Disney Infinity 2.0, and then 3, I believe. Uh, I mean, I think those are separate because each, each time they upgrade it, you got to get the new game or the, the yeah. base. And it was like they, they put out like a, a release every, every fucking year, too. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but I mean, yeah. the, the, no, the, the it, core game, there's only three core games, I believe. Yeah. And then you got your, your downloaded content or whatever you want to call it. I mean, to me, I don't see it ran its course. You know, it's better, it's better than having Final Fantasy 15, you know, or, I mean, you know, these, uh, these crazy numbers, so many games, you know. So they, Final like, Oxymoron XV. Yeah, I, I know that one. <laughs> you know, and, and it just – Halo six or seven or whatever it is now. You Final know, it oxymoron V I I R. I know that one too. <laughs> it it should have stopped at three, you know, or whatever. <laughs> but so at least Disney, like, look, I think three's enough. We don't need to continue this on, <laughs> you know. So it is what it is. I mean, I'm sure there's disappointed people that there ain't no four point oh, but at least you know, Disney, you know said that hey we're stopping production or we're not going to be doing um disney infinity 4.0 but you know at least, they didn't get, at least they didn't get bought out by ea and and you know and don't and i have to applaud them for you know the, their downloaded content the ones that they were going to release so i mean it, it's a it's a it's a done deal as far as i'm concerned three games all the downloaded content just end it there you know and call it, like you said reverend call it a day yeah yeah like i said i'm you know all in all uh it's it is their corporate decision it is a sad thing to see any sort of a any sort of title just go ahead and fall by the wayside because it it didn't meet the numbers of bean counters uh, we've said it many, many times. The the biggest problem that we have with this particular industry is that is uh, creative process is controlled by bean counters who are not part of the creative process. Right. Which means, unfortunately, uh, this sort of thing is going to happen again, and it's going to be the norm. Yeah. Now, whether or not Disney decides to go ahead and pony up to go ahead and buy Electronic Arts like they did Marvel, that remains to be seen. And yes, they probably do have the money to do so. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, if they bought if they bought Star Wars, you know, for how many billions of dollars, man? Four sure, two billion. Yeah. You know, uh, they got the money. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Any other thoughts, gentlemen, on this on these particular two items? I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done too. With that, thank you very much, YouTube, for staying with us over the last 30 minutes. This has been our, our second video game news video of the week. That's pretty much it. We're going to move on to other uh, pop culture and other entertainment media items. Stay tuned. Go ahead and follow up with the next few videos that are, that are going to be posted up. If you're so kind, like I say, always at the end of every video, hit like, hit subscribe. Check out our channels. I got a channel. Great Mouse has got a channel. Theme's got a channel. We like comments. Make sure to leave uh, leave your thoughts, especially if you think we've left anything out. Yep. With that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I am the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Great Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming, and closing companies and not making any more things, I'm afraid. And don't fuck up Resident Evil 7 if you do come out with it. Damn it. Damn it. Capcom. Closing credits. You know what? I've got this horrible thought that they're going to sit there, they're going to put a Resident Evil out, and it's going to be the Barry's Daughter edition. <laughs> Are we in the conference now? I wonder how many people are going to get that. That along, she's gonna be she's gonna be running around with Disney Infinity characters, and she's gonna throw them at zombies.
Ah, gee. <sighs> Don't fuck that up. All right. That's <laughs> <laughs>